If you want to um, customize the header, there's a ton of options that you've got at your fingertips. Let me show you those. So I click on customize here. First thing I'm going to show you do, how to do is to make your header sticky. And there's just this little checkbox here. Just tick that, make sticky. And you'll see now the header sticks as I scroll. Very simple and elegant. Um, let's just untick that for now. Uh, but there's other things that you can do in here. For example, Woo, Woo, um, with your storefront comes with this nice inbuilt search box here. And we've given you the ability to highly customize that. So I'm going to show you that quickly. And you can change the background color, the text color, and the size, and also whether you have rounded corners or not. So I'm going to jump in here, go to primary navigation. Uh, first off, you can actually turn it on and off. So you just a little tick box here if you want to hide it. Uh, but let's assume we want it, so let's just turn it on. And then you've got these different sizes here. So default, large, or extra large, which will be enormous. There we go. Uh, so let's go back to large, I think. Uh, and then you've got this ability here to change it with rounded corners. So it starts as boxy, and then we've got curvaceous as an option. And you'll see it just rounds the corners off. And then we've got really curvaceous, which is even more rounded. So if you want more sort of softer feel to your search box, you can just do that with that checkbox. And then we've also given the ability to change the background colors for these. So I'm gonna go this green color just to be quite extreme. See how the background color is changing in here automatically. And you can also change the text within that search box. So you've got full control over the design of your search box.